Hi folks, we're looking at this book, essay is in honour of Dick Lucas, uh, an Anglican minister, and we're looking at the sufficiency of scripture. Is the scripture sufficient for the preaching of the word of preaching? And the answer is yes. And we've looked at Jesus, we've looked at the history of redemption, but the, the scriptures are sufficient for our preaching because the Bible says so. Jeremiah 23, 16, 18 do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise me, the Lord says you will have peace. And to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say no harm will come to you. But when, but which of them has stood in the counsel of the Lord to see or to hear his word? Who has listened and heard his word? See, God, is pleased when we're listening to his word and not anybody else's word. That's what he wants us to focus on. That's why it is sufficient. It's because the Bible says that that is what we're to be listening to, meditating, and what we should be preaching on. It even says it in the Bible itself.